Hi, my name is Drew Russell and I'm a developer advocate here at Rubric. Today we're going to spend a few minutes reviewing our Python SDK. We have a quick start section in both our GitHub repo as well as the full SDK documentation. Let's run through some of the basics of getting started here. If you haven't already done so, you can install the Rubric SDK through pip install rubric underscore CDM. Once the package has been installed, all you need to do is import the rubric CDM into your script, and then we'll need to instantiate a new variable to the rubric connect class. So as you can see, the connect class takes a few different variables, mainly node IP, username, and password, which we'll use for, for authentication. By default, the SDK will look for those in these environment variables and then automatically import them for you. If you don't have the environment variables configured, you can also manually enter them from here as well. Now that we have the connect class substantiated to the rubric variable, we can start making API calls. Let's use getting the rubric cluster version as an easy example. So if we go over to the rubric API explorer for our V1 endpoints, we can see that we need to make a git call to slash cluster slash ID slash version and then we need to, we can also substitute the me value for the ID parameter. To make that API call in the SDK, we'll create a new cluster version variable and then call the get function, which takes the API version and API endpoint as variables. So in this case, it's gonna be v1 and slash cluster slash me slash version. Now, if we execute this script, we will get a full JSON response that is returned by the API. In this case, that's gonna be version and then the version number. We can also filter this a bit more to get just the version we printed out to the screen for us. To make our life easier, we can also directly call a cluster version and function which will prevent us from having to populate the API endpoint and API version and get the information that we need. So let's execute this again here. And as you can see, we're getting the cluster version returned for us. For more information on the rubric SDK, be sure to check out the full documentation.